hello, I'm a college student, and I often find myself not using so ideal paper. I find that finer nibs work better on this sort of paper, but I'm a sucker for super smooth nibs. What pens have you found to be a good balance between fine and smooth? Big fan, by the way. Thank you, Evan Rog. I'm a big fan of yours. This isn't just a college student issue, all right? This is like, this is one of the things that you will come to realize when you get older and you become an adult in the real world is, uh, you know, most companies tend to use paper that's just as cheap as what the college <laughs> students can afford. So uh, good quality paper, at least in the US, good quality paper is not in abundant supply unless you happen to work somewhere like a fountain pen uh, retail company. Uh, we use good paper around here, but that is not the norm. Uh, I would say most companies, I don't know, maybe if you work at some companies that care about that kind of thing, they might, but in general, probably wherever you work is not gonna have much better paper, so there's not a whole lot of hope there. So I get asked all the time about, you know, which nibs and inks and stuff like that prevent bleed through on junky paper and all that kind of stuff. So um, that's totally cool. So yes, when you're dealing with fine nibs, to get to your pet question here, when you're dealing with fine nibs, obviously the, the finer, the smaller the tip size, the, um, the more likelihood you're gonna feel any scratchiness or any imperfection on that nib. So uh, it really takes a lot of skill to get a, a very fine nib to write smoothly. Some of that inherently is just as you get to like extra fines and even some ultra extra fines on some nibs, it's just gonna feel toothy because there's just not that much material that's touching the paper. Uh, paper, when you actually look at it under some element of micros microscopage, microscopy, micro, what, what am I trying to say? Magnification, let's just go with that. It's actually fairly rough. And yes, you can get different coatings, different sizings, different uh, you know uh, protective things to go over top of the paper. But you know, if it's a wood pulp paper, especially or cotton paper, it's all very fibrous and it's very like it looks like a hairy sweater. <laughs> You know, and as you're writing across it, it's got, you know, essentially a texture to it. It's a very fine texture, and you can't really necessarily feel it with your, your fingertips, but it's definitely there. And when you're writing with a finer and finer and finer fountain pen tip, some of that is going to be just there's not that much there on the tip to help smooth out some of that texture that you're feeling on the paper. So that's going to be part of it, but especially when you get to the finer nibs, if there's any level of improper adjustment or anything like that, you're just gonna feel it so much more. And it takes uh, quite a bit of skill to grind and smooth nibs to be very, very fine. Now you didn't ask me about like the super finest stuff in the world, so I'll just kind of talk about some of the generally just the finer pens that tend to work pretty well on uh, the cheaper paper, but also still, feel, still feels pretty smooth. Uh, one of my favorites is the Pilot Metropolitan with a fine nib, inexpensive pen, great for college students, uh, lots of cool colors and stuff like that. Really great writing fine nib, even though it's only 15 bucks. It's just one of the best values out there. I tout it all the time, love it. Uh, the Pilot Custom 74, this is my famed blue one, which actually has a medium nib on it, but I also have a smoke one in fine that writes surprisingly smooth. So this is a bit more expensive, around $160 but the nib on it is fantastic. So I like that one a lot. And then continuing with Pilot, because Pilot makes a lot of great nibs, uh, the Vanishing Point as well. This one is the Twilight, no longer available, so I'm being a total uh, dweeb by showing it to you, but uh, the fine nib on this one is also quite smooth. Another one, getting away from Pilot. Pilot does make a lot of really good fine nibs, I will say. Uh, Lamy 2000, the extra fine nib. Now the extra fine and fine are not vastly different from each other, but the extra fine, it's a German company. You're gonna wanna go with probably towards the extra fine uh, just because it's, uh, it's a little bit broader. It's a European nib. They tend to grind their nibs, their fine nibs a little bit broader. Uh, I will say it's got a bit of a, a, a um, sweet spot on it. So you got, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's a great pen, love it. Lastly, I have the uh, Platinum Preppy Extra Fine. Now this is quite fine as well, and this is only a $5 pen, but it actually writes pretty great. Um, you can use cartridges, a converter, um, it's all platinum proprietary though, not as many options there, the converter would be fine though. Um, but you can also eyedropper convert this, which is kind of handy if you're a college student because it just requires an O-ring and a little bit of silicone grease and you're good to go. So that is another great option for a fairly low price that I think uh, you can check out. One last thing you can do is um, the Goulet nibs that we have are number six size nibs. There's a variety of pens that will fit that, pens like Jin Hao's, uh, Noodler's pens. Noodler's pens are a little wet, you may wanna go the Jin Hao route, but if you take a Jin Hao um, that takes a number six nib, which is all the Jin Hao's that we, we carry, 
You can put a Goulet Extra Fine on there, and it's actually going to write pretty great for around 25 bucks total investment. So not bad. Some decent options there for you. Hopefully that can help you out. And good luck. Study hard. Okay? Don't party too much. Do some, but not too much.